the field. Dennis, that red nigga was strong. He did the bulwark on the farm. He worked for food and shelter, then he smiled. His mind reclined in madness, but he smiled. Them big bush baby tears, whole some and wide in the pouring sun. He grew freckles and trained chickens. His mind was made of rubber, but he smiled. Just doing the bulwark on the farm. He chopped the bamboo, he washed the yard, he shoveled the cow shit, he paid the heifer, he dig that ditch. Mrs. Gray used to say she found him by the river. But his run, he did really run away from the orphanage. Doris Gray, her smiles were rare. But she grew amazing cakes those Sundays in Wallerfield. churned buttermilk, a slash of lime, living brown sugar, fruit infused in eternal rum, and aromatic tinctures. Head back and benignant, she'd cock her old ass and open her oven and send the scent go roam across the pastures. But soon sick, deep sugar, blood pressure, consumption, cystitis, and lymphatic cancer. Her eyes fell out. And then both her legs were amputated. So wheelchair bound and disemboweled by disease, she hit 12 diamonds under her bed and stayed in her dim room while hard rain fell on the farm. And I found her Jackson 5 45s in the trunk of a derelict radiogram. And when she died, Galstones came up the kitchen and said so. And Sister Sill put a plaintive palm to her breast and said, Oh, gum shooks, when she dead? Six o'clock this morning, she fall out of bed. When Dolphus look, it's dead the woman dead me. Adolphus Gray had the slack ties of an old man. Water filled his knees. He used to walk up to the cow pens with hands shut behind him, gray haired, his gum grinning, in pressed checkered shorts and short sleeve nylon. He wash canister, he mix the grain, he spin the salt lick, crack that whip. But soon sick, he caught a stroke, and debt sharpened his toes. And then prostrate cancer wiped his gold teeth's grin, and skin gathered around his ankles like governor socks. And with yours on top of Coco Bay, he gave up his gizzard for mercy, and he sold his cattle cheap. He gave Dennis a bill roll, and he let Dennis go, and Dennis ran barefoot through the orange field. He gave Gal Stones a silver-plated cigar case, and a beige Ford Falcon that he'd kept tied in the shed. And soon after that, he shat himself inside out and died. But Galstones, he was hard to dead. Shrunk dried from diabetes, constipation, and liver rot. He groaned for many seasons, dying slow for mercy, slow for mercy. His hernia hung stones in his passway as big as copra knots. 
old man dead, and he sat crying in the toilet, pining woe in slow fade suffocation, as one by one his brothers fell, his good good friend, but even then he was ever quick to war. You must take this house for some kind of open sea polka boy. Go bring me that belt. I go bust your ass in two. Locked door, he bust leather. Once he pulled a gun, and she had to hold him back. And her tears became rain in my dream that night. But some sweet Friday, you know, he may bring come butter and egg, or warm Creole bread and fried chicken ice cream. And when he worked in the shed, he was most times gentle. He worked meticulous wood, crook sticks and crosses and chipwood commodes. He planed and grooved with silent strokes. Never pass that chisel boy or pass that plane. Not even brace this steady. Let me shave this pine. Just his gutty breath. And a vapor of pitched pine burning in a milk pan, the shade mosquito dust that drifted across the savannah. They found him on the veranda. <laughs> 